If everybody in America could walk or ride a bike instead of driving a car, how much do you think would be saved in healthcare costs? So it's a pretty complex question. Like the current health status of Americans comes into play, the distance, the frequency of walking or biking, whether or not you're healthy enough to walk, and the accessibility of safe and convenient routes for us to walk, and the impact of physical activity on like different health outcomes, right? So if you take a look at this, walking and biking have a ton of health benefits. Burning calories helps with weight management, it improves cardiovascular health, and reduces the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's going to strengthen muscle and bones, and it's going to help prevent osteoporosis. And it can enhance mental well and health well-being, and it's going to reduce your stress, your anxiety, and some depression. If you can prevent or manage chronic conditions like diabetes or hypertension and cancer, you're also doing pretty good. So if you think about those benefits, you can estimate that if everybody in America could walk or ride a bike instead of driving a car, you're going to save money on health care costs related to treating or preventing those conditions. But it's super hard to do it. It is incredibly hard to do it, so we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to approach this question by thinking about the average annual health care spending per person in America. It's like $11,500, and we're going to multiply it by the percent of health care costs that are related to physical inactivity being stationary in America. That's about 11%. That gives us a rough estimate of $1,200 per person per year that we'd save. If you multiply this by the number of adults in America, there's 209 million, you get about $269 billion a year that we would save if folks were able to walk and we weren't stuck in a sedentary lifestyle sitting inside a car. What do you think?